in May of 92, as a result of the Iraqi government pulling out of what became known as the Kurdistan region, um, after pulling out in October of 91, the Kurdish leadership, so, um, the Kurdistan Front, a group of eight uh, Kurdistan parties, um, decided to have elections. So they did hold elections in uh, May of uh, 92. And there were international observers. Um, and it, um, the elections were deemed to have been free and fair. Uh, government was set up. Parliament was set up which continued to this day. And then, you know, we go into a different era. I mean, there's a lot of details in between, but um, um, uh, that's essentially um, getting through to the point where the Iraqi government clamped down on international NGOs, made them all illegal, um, unless they registered in Baghdad. And uh, of course, none of the, that that implied certain um, obligations and restrictions, which they were not willing. So those international NGOs that continued in the Kurdistan region of Iraq were essentially illegal, according to Iraqi law, uh, illegal um, visitors. Uh, we were legal we, as UN, uh, but a number of international NGOs came in through the back door and continue doing some uh, very good work in many fields, whether it's health or reconstruction or resettlement or agriculture and like that. So the international community uh, composed of UN agencies and NGOs, a number of NGOs supported by governments, whether Swedish, Germany, uh, British, or the American government, um, um, the, they did much of the reconstruction resettlement of hundreds, thousands of destroyed communities uh, over the next decade. 